here I am coming in with the review of this bad boy. Uh, what I thought about it, everything. You know, pretty much everything in the beginning, I mean, sucked, dude. Especially with, like, the gear situations. Um, all that, because, I mean, it's, like, super hard to tell where they're trying to or they're trying to have you put these parts, especially like where, you know, it's like behind stuff. Okay, cool. What spot do I put it in then? It doesn't really exactly show you. Um, so, another thing uh, sucked. So, you did four right? Nowhere did they give me. So, brake calibers now are just suddenly, you see, are just suddenly in them. Nowhere did they give me the instructions to build the brake calibers. Um, so the car has no brake calibers, even though at the end I had everything to build it. I see what they look like. I guess I could snap them together and put them on real quick. But yeah, no, no brake calibers, no instructions for the brake calibers. Uh, maybe they just skip that skip all together. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Uh, so yeah, brake calibers just suddenly end up in the instructions out of nowhere. You know, they don't never tell you to build. This is your tire set. They don't never tell you to build how to, you know, weird. Um, next thing, the color coordinates kind of suck on like your bars. So this is really good. This is really helpful. The scale that helped me out a ton, but like the colors, I think I messed up about midway through building, um, with the color scheme. I had to go back and look at the color scheme of, uh, the pinions they wanted you to use or whatever um like i said whole beginning sucked i wanted to quit on it i did not want to complete it um once you get past let's see about yeah once you get to the like the motor where they want you to put the motor in wherever that is coming up close uh, that is when it starts to actually start making sense. It starts to, you know, getting a little bit funner. All in all, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I could use the monster stickers. I still need to, as you can see, I still need to put the stickers all on here. I don't have stickers on it, but uh, yeah, I still need to put the monster stickers on. And whatever I can, scrounge up out of here. Um, some of the things. Let's get into the actual thing like on so the lego kits as i was noticing like the way they make their like little pinions and everything they make them to snap into place my light just went out come on buddy they make them to like snap into each other and these they still you know once you put the your little uh four point little pinion things in they still have like they still want to slide out or whatever you know they don't have that okay cool i snapped it into place and now that ain't that ain't gonna move or budge up out of here damn light stop it uh so the parts are a little bit cheaper definitely um some of the things that could have been different uh this is all i feel like i'm gonna have to super glue this whole little front end every time i like pick it up or touch it everything wants to pop up off of it these little things want to slide out those are those little pinion gear things that i was just talking about um back end i ran into an issue with the tail lights uh i had to remove a piece right here because it's this piece right here it's this little u piece right here it doesn't fit it needs to be a little bit wider um, i've got everything set i looked at the instructions you know triple check them quadruple check them bad boys uh i was missing pieces in the end which that is another thing so like when it came when it came uh I had bags like one, two, and three. So, I mean, immediately, what are you going to do off the first one? You're going to open your, your number one bag, right? So, I open bag one. And then, as I'm into it, as I'm into it, I open bag two. And I still got a hefty amount of bag one parts still left over. Um, as you can see here, look. As you roll it, your pistons will fire. You see that? That's how you know you got the engine block right after building, you know, several of these guys. That one was probably the easiest little engine build I've built. Um, 
so yeah tail lights i had to remove a piece and it still doesn't even really fit right i'm gonna probably have to super glue this stuff in the back end too really what i can say is try to if you're building anything of these try to just take your time on it you know um try to read the instruct i mean like you got to continuously look at the instructions that is the one thing with lego the lego brand ones it's pretty easy just to keep going and okay cool this makes sense this makes sense all the way through the whole build like i said the whole first end of this build did not make sense whatsoever um uh the instructions are hard <laughs> are hard to understand um you have the color code that could have been a lot easier, you know, when they use these pinions. Uh, I ran out of parts. Like, oh, that's what I was getting to. So when I got my box, one of, the, I think bag three was already split open. A couple of bags looked like they was recellophane closed or whatever. So, you know, I don't know if I have dropped the parts or missed the parts or if the parts just never came. Uh, what exactly happened with the part situation? Uh, why is that out and that's not... There we go. Um, with these, you can get a motor kit. You can't buy the motor kit with them. I don't necessarily. I uh, thought about it. At first, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I want to do that. Then I thought, what if you, you know, accidentally hit something while you're driving this thing around and then it just shatters and then, you know, be heartbroken as hell. So I didn't do the motor kit. You could also do a light kit with these things. Um, and like I said, I'm still trying to find an actual sticker kit where instead of, you know, it's got the number 34 because it's a Chinese build. It would have Ken Block's actual 43 that would go right here with his little, you know, death head and helmet thing. Um, I could use the monster stickers. I'll put them, I'll put them on here. Um, I need two. It didn't have any like hubcap centers. I'll figure out something for that and make that in. Um, I might even put in the, the brake calibers, go back and actually do that. But it has no instructions on how to build those. Um, but I'll, I could just fash them together and get them on there. Uh, yeah, just take your time. If you're building these, they're very intricate. Take your time. Read the instructions. Triple check them bad boys. Make sure each slot that you're going into is you're going into the right slots. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes they'll be explaining. They'll be explaining the bad boy, and they're showing you. You know, you're supposed to. You're putting something in on this side over here, and this is exactly how the car is in the book. And it's showing you over it's like i can't see where you're trying to tell me where to put these into these holes you know so you damn near have to go to the other side do the other side and then come back and do the other side on uh instruct or yeah when the instructions are like that that was how i got through those um other than that man you really can't complain the kits i tried to look it up on amazon i think they're like hundred dollar kits hundred and fifty dollar kits you know for what it is for what it's worth you really can't complain just take your time with it build it the end you'll have a nice little you have a nice little build um other than that you know for what it is yeah i, I will probably buy another kit from knife lease um and build it um i think the next lego kit i'm gonna try to look into the next car kit is going to be the Lamborghini, the Lego Lamborghini, if I can. I'd like to get a hold of that. There's some other Lego kits that I'd like to get, like they have the classic Nintendo NES on there. Um, I'd like to get that and build that. Uh, I have a project I'm about to jump into next, probably even tonight. I will start it up. But other than that, you really can't complain what the kit is, is what the kit is. Um, take your time, enjoy it. Then you'll have a nice little product. Put it up on your shelf. Put it up in a clear glass. Q-tip. Don't leave Q-tips lying around. Um, yeah, if you like it, give me a follow, please. Give me subscribes. I'm trying to get my subscribes up. If you like these videos, you can go out and check out the rest of my, the rest of my page. I got two, three other builds, Lego builds. I'm now starting in other things. I'm trying to get the garage to where it's got heat so I can start in on my RC builds and uh those uh hopefully we'll have a gopro camera here soon it'd be a li little bit easier to record videos right now i'm doing all this stuff off my phone uh, uh but yeah thanks for watching guys i truly appreciate it you guys rock give me a subscribe give me a like give me a thumbs down if you don't like the video any kind of any kind of interaction i would love thank you guys so much you guys rock